Did you ever imagine during those days when you were, you know, really just wearing a pair of underpants and hitting people over the head with folding <laughs> chairs, that one day you would be singing in an, an animated Disney film? No. No. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I mean, look, the, I mean, here we are, we're on the show, we're talking about it, the movie's getting ready to come out, and, um, and so I was on my way to China. This was about two and a half years ago. I'm on my way to China, and uh, I'm with my agent. We're getting ready to go over there to promote a movie, and we're getting ready to go on a plane. And he goes, hey, I got to talk to you. I said, we got to get on a plane. He goes, sit down. I'm like, OK. So I sit down, and he goes, this just came in. It's been uh, in development for years now. They just offered you this role in Disney. And I was like, wow. And he goes, your culture, your Polynesian culture, which of course got me very, very excited to showcase sure. our culture. And then um, I'm like, ah, oh, that's amazing. He goes, and you know what else? I was like, what? He goes, and I got to say it, right? Because this is how we operate. We roll. We're truthful on this show. He goes, um, you're singing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Did they know you could sing going in? Were they aware of? Did they check first? I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did. They did their deep dive research, they as, did. as only Disney does. I, I think see. that they had an idea that because I sang before in the past, like I would come on, probably come on here, and we'd sing a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, just silly, fun stuff. But, right. So I think they knew that maybe I could carry a tune. Right. So I think that was enough. And then they had, of course, the the masterful Lin Manuel Miranda wrote. All of our uh, all of our music. He and, was here uh, last week, and he said, "For this, this is like his dream. He's, you know, he, he named his son Sebastian after the crab in the Little Mermaid. So, I mean, that is that to me is proof that this is his dream. This is literally his dream. But by the way, it, it's it's like a dream come true for so many of us. By the way, his son Sebastian was born during the making of Moana. Our daughter uh, J Jasmine was born during the making of Moana. It's all it's all a very special. How thing. old is she now, your daughter? She's 11 months old, and I have a daughter." Simone, who's 15. And, okay. here, and here's a crazy thing. So every time I see Moana, I've seen it a few times, it starts off with, of course, baby Moana, who looks just like my 11-month-old Jasmine. And oh. then she grows into this beautiful 15, 16-year-old girl who looks just like my other daughter, Simone. So it's a whole jazz. I know, it's You that. should sue. Buddy, you should sue. I, mean, I am <laughs> suing. You shouldn't have told them that, yes. <laughs> so well, so your 11-month-old is too young, probably, to, has she, she hasn't, has she seen the movie? She, no, she hasn't seen the movie. We can't wait to show it to her, but she loves the trailer. Loves oh, she the does? Yeah, because she hears my voice in it. All right. So it's a thing, you know, and yeah. it's like, it's like, Honey coated gravel, you know. You know, that's a double edged sword, really, because you could get in a situation where, you know, like the song Let It Go in Frozen, where kids love you and they sing the song so many times over and over again that their parents begin to want to kill you. <laughs> I, 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 yes, I, I am uh, I'm well aware that that could happen, by the way, with the song You're Welcome, but who knows? You we'll are see. shooting a live action movie, Jumanji, a, yes, a yes. new version of Jumanji in yes. Hawaii right now. Yes. And I, as you mentioned, that's where you're from. What is it like shooting? Shooting in the place you grew up. It's uh, first of all, it's awesome, it right? Is. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, it's a double-edged sword, right? There's a there's a side A and a side B to the story. Tell us about the side B. We don't care about side A. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear about the bad part. So, so the so the bad part <laughs> is, you know, you go back to Hawaii. Uh, well, first, all the locals are good. I just have to say that bringing a movie of this size and magnitude. The jobs that it creates for all the hardworking locals, that's amazing. It's great, right? That's yeah. the A side, right? So, but the B side is after, uh, after every day we rap, there's fans always waiting, and there's inevitably more cousins. I just got more cousins. Oh, really? Know. Yeah, so I'm, I go out, and my, and my guys, my logistic guys will say, hey, listen, you know, there's uh, <laughs> two, three families over there. You look over there, and there's like 20 people, and they're all holding things and babies and all <laughs> kinds of stuff ready for me to sign. I was like, who is it? That's your, uh, that's your cousin uh, from uh, your grandfather's side, 10 times removed. <laughs> I remember, I'm like, I don't have them. No, they're white. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> like, how did that happen? I mean, okay, <laughs> maybe, uh, but that's the that's the other side to that. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, that's oh, what happens when you go to Hawaii. And essentially. it's an island. There's nowhere to go. There's I mean, everybody becomes cousins eventually, right? <laughs> no, yeah. Every, yeah. Eventually, <laughs> yes, we all become cousins. Have yes. you been to the places you used to hang out when you grew up? Were those like spots? Uh, yeah. So I have, and I'm sure I've talked about it with you a few times. So as I was growing up as a teenager. Uh, in Hawaii, I used to get in trouble a lot, doing a lot of things I shouldn't have been doing, arrested multiple times. Yeah. And so I used to, and so the answer is yes. So I felt like I need to redeem myself. So I went back to Hawaii. I had my 15-year-old daughter, Simone, with me. I'm like, honey, it's Sunday. It's our day off. We're going to go to all these places that 
I did bad things. And I just got to redeem myself. But what? The, the one, this I, sounds I, like a movie right, right I, I off the bat. <laughs> We're at least going to drive by. And I told her story. So, so basically, it's like, the, you know, the, there's, there's the lessons here. So okay. here's where your dad, this particular thing happened. <laughs> it just seems made, like a terrible idea. It, it, <laughs> you, I thought it was a great idea at that time, by the way. You got to call me before you have another one I'm of these call ideas. You next time. <laughs> it's all the go? places I did bad. What do you think, Jimmy? This is Daddy's favorite crack house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my not God. that bad? It's not, well, it's not that bad. It's funny you should say crack, because. Uh, because. So I used to uh, walk to the gym every day when I was a freshman, right? So I walked in five miles. So everybody says, wow. you walk five miles. I literally had to walk five miles, right? So I walked five miles to the gym. Midway point to the gym is the 7-Eleven. I used to stop at the 7-Eleven, I swear to God, every day, and I used to steal a king-size Snickers bar. Every day? For energy. Well, I didn't have any money, right? So, of course, right? So that's what I did. I took every day for energy, king-size Snickers bar. Uh, wow. So I told my daughter, I said, you know what? I said, what if we went? Let's go back to the 7-Eleven. Let's just go in there. Let's just go grab a king-size Snickers. Let me literally put $500 down and just say, oh, here, thank you, and then go. She's like, all right, that's kind of cool, Dad. Let's go do that. So we went, we pull up, and she's like, is that? And I, and I look, is that? Yeah, I think he's shooting up drugs right there. Mm. Oh, I think right there. Like, so it's so sketchy now, this place. So we did not go in. Go in, it's good. <laughs> yes. This is some lesson Everyone you taught your daughter. On it. Did he go in? Come on, honey. We're look, gonna make this right. On second thought, we're leaving. <laughs> and we left. So you so, would yeah. go in, and you would, and these must have been the least observant 7-Eleven <laughs> cashiers of all time. It's a, this yes. giant boy comes in every day, and maybe they were just too scared to say anything. I had pimples all on my face because I eat Snickers bar every day. With yeah. Sugar. I had afro and afro, but I think it's one of those. First of all, same person, employee, every day, same shift, uh -huh. right, every day. I, well, I guess it's kind of like, you know, it's a little local, like, hey. Did you buy gotcha. anything? <laughs> it's okay. Did you purchase anything as a ruse, or just go in there and take the no, Snickers bar and leave? I had no money. There was no yeah. ruse. It, no. Wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a sophisticated uh, model I was working with. I, I little, you know, hey. <laughs> Inside the criminal mind of Dwayne Johnson. Wow. No, it was just that. So one day I will have to go back. If not yeah. that one, then 8-7-Eleven. <laughs> and redeem myself. Go to a different 7-Eleven. This was back before I became who I am today. So the AFI Film Festival is going on. Yes. Right across the street from us. <laughs> yes, it and, is. And uh, this is the premiere of Moana, right? The world premiere? It is. This is the world premiere of Moana. And I got to tell you, so, you know, there's months and months of planning that go into this, right? Yeah, uh, these right. premieres. Tonight, this is one of the biggest premieres in Hollywood ever of all time. All of Hollywood Boulevard is shut down That's for true. this premiere. It's a nightmare. There's going to be there. a special performance tonight outside on stage. So um, we thought that it would be a good idea. Uh, to bring all of you with us. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?